propaganda against the Jewish people. So his whole family had been anti-Semitic. And fortunately, the King James Bible does not use that Hebrew text. And a part of the reason I wrote um, the book New Age Bible Versions, this is the book I wrote. And I spent six years collating the modern translations of the Bible. Uh, years ago, I was not a staunch King James believer. As a matter of fact, when I would write letters to my mother, I would change the Bible any time I wanted to. I really didn't, wasn't educated about the subject, and I was a young Christian. And, but I found that the young ladies who would come into my office at the university, I was a professor, and they knew I was a Christian, and when they had emotional problems, they would come into my office and cry, and I would show them a verse in the Bible or something to help them feel better. And I noticed that those who were using the modern translations seemed to be unstable, emotionally depressed, anxious, all those sorts of things. And it made me stop to think perhaps that's why psychology has moved into the church because of some of the problems these versions have caused. Oh, mercy. I would stay up late at night yeah. and by 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I'd want to go run and wake up my husband and say, you know, look what they've taken out. It's, I was just so upset. And what I would recommend to anyone, um, you know, when they're hearing this and if they use an NIV, mm -hmm. I recall that years and years previous to this, someone had given me a little book. And it was about, you know, the, the uh, superior to the King James Version. And I remember quite honestly, Joanne, I thought that was hilarious. I mm -hmm. thought, that's someone's taken a large portion out of that person's brain to think mm -hmm. that, you know. And so for the listeners out there, my heart goes out to them because I remember thinking there's no difference. And because we've been so programmed by a lot of the advertising and oh, some yes. of these things. Yes. And uh, it wasn't until I sat down and looked at them and, and the Lord reminded me of the verse, um, you know, if a man answers a thing before he hears it, it's a folly and a shame unto him. He who answers a matter before he hears it. And so, you know, that person gave me that book, and I thought, oh, that's ridiculous. You know, I wouldn't even read the book because yeah. I thought it was so silly until I actually saw the problems the students were having and sat down and did a word-for-word -word collation. It took me a year and a half just to do the New American Standard Bible, 12 hours a day, comparing it with the King James. And then I went on to do um, the underlying Greek text. I found out about the differences in the Greek text, and then I started looking back at the manuscripts, and altogether it took six years to... All this stuff, you know, uh, uh, about uh, join the church, uh, join the church of your choice. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Don't do it. If this is the church of your choice, repent. <laughs> yes, sir. Pray and ask God to show you what the church you join. You go. You join the one He wants you to join. Your preference has got nothing to do with anything, folks. Well, I prefer the King James Bible. Okay, then you're a rotten Christian. Well, say Ruckman, don't you prefer the King James Bible? No, matter of fact, I don't. <laughs> All kind of thing in the King James Bible I don't like. All kind of things just rub me the wrong way. But I'm his and he's mine. I get on my knees and say, Lord, show me what your word is. I want to know what your word is. I want the truth. I love the truth. I need the truth. I like the truth. Don't give me a lie. I don't want falsehood. I don't want deceit. I want the truth. Show me the truth. What is it? Or said it's that one right there. Okay. My preference is immaterial. I don't say, well, now, I, I, I beg to disagree with you. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Knock down the block, that's the one you have right there, that's going to be it. I don't take it because I prefer it, I, because I, I take it because that's the master, that's the one the master recommended for me to get and told me to believe it. And I'm his servant, so I believe it. That's all there is to that. Read Ruckman's book, Why I Believe the King James Bible is the Word of God. And then read 
New Age Bible Versions by Gail Ripplinger. In fact, you don't even have to read anything she says. Just compare the verses. You'll find out real quick what your bias is.